Yeah, I'm fascinated by, you know, there, there are sort of like subplots to the Trump administration that yeah. are turning out to be a lot more important than people thought. And, and right after he came into office, I wrote about 2,000 words for Marketplace on the FCC and was like, listen, this is going to be a big deal. And net neutrality is only one of the reasons. Other reasons include, for example, allowing things maybe like the Sinclair Tribune merger or a future Comcast Verizon merger. You know, I mean, there's so much about media and broadcast that is going to be affected by the FCC, that he is a hugely important player who, like you said, is super aggressive. I mean, he is coming out and and it speaks to how bad things got, I think, during the Tom Wheeler FCC, how divisive, because Ajit Pai was a commissioner before and is now the the chair. And he did indeed come out and say, I'm going to, and so there were like a lot of different directions he could have gone with net neutrality. And he went all the way to nuclear, which is, I would like to roll back the title II reclassification. I don't really want responsibility for the FCC that would kick it back or for net neutrality oversight that would kick it back to the FTC percent potentially. And he's been super partisan in his language about it. That's what I find the most shocking is that he's just like aggressive. He's aggro. The other thing that struck me is like, uh, he's trying to wrap it in this very kind of folksy style, like language in that, like the Reese's cup that he always carries around. Yes. Kind of thing. And so he's like trying, like, you've seen that? He has a giant, yeah. like, yeah, no, the oversized Reese's cup. And he's trying to like, like sound like nice, but like when you like unwrap the layers, it's damaging the net neutrality. And there's right. just no way to get around, around that. And, uh, they're betting on that. There's not one, there will not be enough mobilization to go against, to stop that. And two, that even if there was mobilization, how are you going to stop them? Like right. there's the vote, there's the entire government is controlled by the GOP. Uh, the GOP and the GOP's position is to roll back title two across the board. And when we're on mobile, mm-hmm. net neutrality doesn't exist or it's, it's it, less that rules. So, there's sort of like two elements to net yeah. shot. Would you like me to geek out? Do yeah, let's to like geek out. Do it. Do it. Educate us. Totally. Do it. There are basically two levels to the existing net neutrality right. situation. One is the classification. So right. what you hear called the Title II reclassification, which is what Tom Wheeler's FCC did, and they said this can be treated basically like a utility. Right. So that puts regulation of the internet in the hands of the FCC. Right. Step one. Step two was the open internet order, which was the rules, the set of rules around net neutrality. And they already had some rules in place, but Title II allowed them to have a much broader set of rules. So Chairman Pai could have come in and said, I'm just going to change the rules. Mm. We're going to keep the reclassification, but I'm going to alter the way the rules work. And instead, he's like, nope, what I propose is that we roll it all the way back, get rid of the reclassification, and start from scratch. So under the current rules, there are some loopholes in mobile and mobile was exempted from a lot of rules before the new right. open internet order. And one of those is like zero rating, right? right. That's why at and can basically say, you can have this package that won't count against your data at all right. of content that we own, which is a clear net neutrality violation versus somebody like T-Mobile who's like any music service, right. even a startup can come onto our platform and you, you, the consumer can stream it for free. But as the rules are written now, both at and and T-Mobile can kind of do what they're doing. There's a little bit of a, and so depending on how net neutrality falls, I feel like since every new business is mobile first, every entrepreneur is saying, I want to be mobile first, I feel like the implications there for the startup community, and correct me if I'm wrong, but that feels significant. Well, YouTube would have had a hard time being created if Verizon said, pay us for every minute of, or every gigabit that goes through our network, Right to uh, make it free or let's do a deal. We'll make it free to all Verizon customers if you give you give us 20% of your company or you give us $10 million a year. So they could actually just be gatekeepers and one person could have high-speed access or free, which is what Facebook did, right? Facebook's basics in India and other places right. was, hey, we'll give you free internet access for Facebook and to Wikipedia, but yes. nothing else. Right. It just feels so... Well, it wasn't Facebook, but nothing else, but it was sites they chose. Right. And then India said, no, thank you. Yeah, they ran them out of town. And then now, though, now we're in a situation where uh, Verizon and AT&T already have their own, they have their own content. Mm-hmm. So it's not even just that YouTube would have had a hard time with charging. It's more that AT&T could And they're could collecting say, more content. And they're, yeah, they're, they're all collecting more content. Right. And if Comcast gets into wireless, then it's like a YouTube can't even exist because AT&T is like, no, we're going to prioritize our content. Comcast, if it gets into wireless, says I prioritize mine. I mean, to be fair, I am in favor of like a long lasting legislative solution mm-hmm. to net neutrality, something that isn't going to ping pong back and forth between partisan FCC commissioners. Um, right. 
But there, I, but my opinion is that his idea that ISPs will regulate themselves and that'll all work out fine for entrepreneurs and nope. small businesses and Netflix and Google is absurd. I am a huge fan of Wistia. Wistia um, has supported this program for many years, and we host all our videos on Wistia. Why do we do that? Well, video is important. We like to collect emails because once we get your email, we can invite you to our events. We can invite you to founder.university, angel.university, the Angel Summit, Launch Festival, Scale, maybe uh, invite you to buy my book, whatever it is. Emails equal power, right? And video equals power. So everybody loves to watch videos. What we do is when you watch This Week in Startups, we ask you, hey, would you like to get special announcements, announcements from This Week in Startups for launch? Probably like half the people who watch the video give us their email address. So we have now hundreds of thousands of emails over the years that we've collected for Inside, for This Week in Startups, and a large portion of them, I would, I would guess maybe double-digit percentages came from our Wistia videos. So let me make that clear. If you're just putting videos on other services and then they wrap them with videos they want you to see next and Gangnam Style and other nonsense and you know SpongeBob or whatever, that's not what you want for business video. For business video, you want Wistia where you can control the entire experience. Uh, MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, they all use it, and they have grown. When they started uh, partnering with us on This Week in Startups, and we used them for, as our platform, they had 50,000 customers. Now they have 330,000, and I missed investing in this company. I'm just kicking myself. Um, they give you great analytics. You can see the trends and the viewer streams. You can capture the emails. As I, as I mentioned, it's super easy to use, tons of support, and it integrates with all the uh, top email and marketing tools out there. Tons of resources will get you off the ground when you look at their blog. Um, and... Uh, you can pick the right microphone, lighting, all that kind of stuff using video, email. They just basically teach everybody how to do it uh, on their blog. So it's a, it's a really good blog, actually. Uh, you can create a free account right now, wistia.com slash twist, wistia.com slash twist. If you are doing video for business purposes, I want you to just think Wistia. Business video, Wistia. Wistia, business video. Wistia.com slash twist. <laughs>